All right. Sorry about that. I had to get. Wanted to share this on uh, Facebook. Not that anybody will join in, but uh, hey, why not? Why not give it a shot? All right. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way, guys. I am not a professional artist. I don't consider myself a great artist. I can. I, I do very limited of anything. Um, but my wife bought me this uh, for Christmas. Uh, the whatever this is called, <laughs> uh, the easel and the canvas, and she bought me some paint and brushes and just some super cheap, budget-friendly stuff. And uh, and she mentioned something to me about uh, painting something. So. You know, I've kind of had it. I've had it all out and sitting over here, looking at me for a while now, and uh, trying to figure out, you know, what to do and when something hits you. You know, you never know. Whenever you're doing art, uh, what's going to hit you and when it's going to hit you. So, um, and again, I'm no pro. I don't even. I'm probably not going to even go about it the professional way. We're just gonna paint. We're gonna do something, and uh, got some brushes here, not even opened, and uh, yeah. So let's get it going. It's kind of getting late in the evening here. It's six four uh, six forty. It's five forty one p.m. Sunday. But. What better time to start something than late? Better late than never. Told you I'm not a pro. Let's see, stuff that I normally would draw, whenever I draw stuff is typically like your superhero type stuff, your barbarians, your human figure type body stuff. And uh, I'm not real great at that either. But it's something I've always loved. And, I, you know, I love art. And uh, many, many years ago, I did a big canvas painting of the Little Mermaid. Something that I just made up. And uh, it was all intricate and beautiful to me. Uh, I loved it. And I gave it to my niece, uh, one of my nieces. And, well, whatever happened to it kind of happened to it. So, I don't know. And, uh. I got a little art project I did on my wall in here, the Blair Witch Project. I got a couple of things hanging in the dining room that I did, like 90, 91, early, like, uh, early, like, forever ago. So, anyway, it's got some basic acrylic paints here. Now, I bought these. My wife bought me a couple of little boxes with just, like, uh, a few colors in them, and uh, then I went, like, about a day or two later to Walmart and just grab this because figured it'd give me a little bit more more option, you know, a little bit a little bit more option for me, and I think it was only ten dollars, so gives you quite a bit of stuff here. So if you look at the uh, title of the video, it's painting for epilepsy or something like that, seahorse. Well, my wife came up with the idea. She said, hey, why don't you paint me? I know what you could do. Why don't you paint me a seahorse for epilepsy? That's their, that's the mascot for epilepsy for whatever reason is a seahorse. And she said, making it all like purpley and pinks and all kind of blues and all kind of pretty stuff and you know, whatever, you know. So, I was like, well, I didn't say anything. I didn't, uh, I didn't really acknowledge, you know, when I'm like, okay, I'll do that today. <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't really say anything. I just uh, kind of was like, okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know. What do I want to put this stuff here? I'll just put it back here. So, 
Got me a little ice tray to put some paints in if I need, I guess. Um, again, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to paint a seahorse. Or seahorses. I, I don't really know. I got a, I got a, some pictures of seahorses kind of up here. Just random stuff. And just to see kind of what some of them look like in that. And uh, they do have the mascot for the epilepsy. Uh, Meet Campy, International Epilepsy Day mascot. So <coughs> there is there is a mascot for the sea or for the epilepsy. If you want to check that out, they even have some animated stuff for it and everything. I guess it's kind of cute, but uh. So we're gonna get started here and try and do something and uh, see how it goes. I might get one of those bigger tubes of paint though to do the background. I might do that. Might do that guys. I'm running out of room. <laughs> So she got me these, kind of some bigger, bigger tubes of some basic colors here. Um, let's see what we can get into. Of course, this is all extreme budget stuff here, guys. I don't think she spent more than probably $20 on all of it. It's uh, not the greatest stuff in the world. And uh, to be honest, uh, most of us don't need the greatest stuff in the world. And uh, I, appreciate, I appreciate whatever I get anyway. So... Here they're gonna pop open. That's what she said. Got some blue and some purple. And... It's like milking a cow. You're in a race to milk a cow. <laughs> I know. I'm no Bob Ross, guys. I'm not. I'm not all quiet and subtle. I guess maybe. I'm not that. Not that, you know, cool stuff. So, of course, let's start with some blue. I wonder if this is sealed. Yes, it is. Fortunately and unfortunately, it's sealed. Have a feeling I'm gonna be a mess here. Already a mess. And I got clothes on that are my favorite clothes in the whole world. I should have got a uh, 
some kind of rag. Mike, why don't you use the white of the canvas? No, no, I don't want to use the white of the canvas. What do I look like, a white of the canvas kind of guy? that I brought me a some pretty runny paint so my thoughts here are let's go ahead and uh, See, I don't like that, to be honest. That should really not be, because it gives you a border, so you end up having to go back over stuff. So, anyway, uh, we're going to kind of just do a little bit of a getting the back getting the whole thing kind of covered in here looks like a head that's some hair like some of these crazy people I see walking around. I have a feeling that's gonna be a mess. Now you might be thinking, Mike, what does this got to do with the body beatdown? Well, the body beatdown channel deals with a lot of stuff. If you watch my videos and you keep up with me, you know that the body beat down, uh, you know, we deal with a lot of stuff, uh, not just physical activities and stuff like that and food and the general, what you would consider uh, health type related stuff, but mental stuff and even things such as epilepsy. So... We touch on a little bit of whatever we want here. There's no real rules, you know?
I don't know why I got another brush. I'm going to be mixing and doing all that with pretty much one brush anyway. My wife's had epilepsy probably for, I guess, three years now or so. It just came, came out of nowhere. And uh, you just never know what's going to happen. <clears throat> you know, one day you're fine. And uh, the next day, you know, things are not looking so good. If you got anyone in your life that has epilepsy, uh, you know that it can be uh, it can be kind of a nuisance, you know. It can be a a real problem. And uh, it can put a real, you know, hiccup in your in your uh, life. You know, you go to bed perfectly fine and then wake up the next day and uh, it's a whole, just a whole new world.
So you just kind of do things how you see uh, fit. Oh, hey, Nature Girl, how you doing? Uh, I would type, but I got a little paint on me. But, uh, hey, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, again, since you're a little bit kind of 22 minutes in here, I'll just let you know I'm not a professional artist or anything. Uh, I have loved art since I was a tiny kid. I have done some art throughout my life, but it's not great. Uh, my wife has epilepsy, and she told me this morning, I think it was this morning, she was like, hey, I have an idea what you could paint. And I'm like, what? And she said, uh, seahorse. Uh, that's the little whatever for, uh, for epilepsy. And, uh, and I didn't tell her I was going to or anything, you know, and I just kind of was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. And, uh, so I got to thinking, hey, maybe I should go ahead and maybe try. So, uh, I'm not a seahorse expert, uh, but I do have a picture, some stuff pulled up here from Google to just kind of look at and kind of go with uh they do have a spokes spokesman a uh whatever the heck you want to call it a mascot they do have a mascot for epilepsy his name is campy and uh i just found it on ibe international bureau for epilepsy you can go there and it's got like little animated cartoon stuff with with uh campy and uh Kind of interesting, you know. I guess everything has to have its uh, mascot and stuff. So, um, again, I'm no professional here. I'm just, I'm, I'm winging it. I am winging it. So, um, my wife got me this uh, little art uh, collection here for Christmas, and it's just kind of been sitting there. And I kind of had this all set up and sitting there looking at me all this time, and. And uh, been trying to get some inspiration for something. And uh, yeah, I try to do something once in a while for the daggum wife. Daggum it. Uh, Got to do something for him. Might as well be something nice, I guess. And these are not big dollar paints. These were probably $5 a piece, you know, $5 for a box. And she got me just some, you know, some good, some budget stuff. That's all I use in my life is budget stuff. And the blue looks like it matches the paint on the wall. Was that on purpose? Uh, well, it's it might be kind of the camera or kind of how you're looking at things. But that's kind of more, uh, my walls are kind of more of a, kind of a purpley kind of color and uh, what I used here was blue and uh, that's just blue and white now it's not gonna go in here of course it's gonna go out uh, probably in the living room but uh, I mean if I were to stick if I were to take this and put it up on the wall there you'd probably see a difference but eh, but it's close it could be close who knows I could be colorblind I don't know that could be fluorescent pink for all I know. I don't really know. No, I'm not colorblind. But... <coughs> eh, I don't know. Because I'm looking at the at the video going over here. So when it's at a distance like that, it, it kind of blends in together and kind of looks about the same. So it's probably, it's probably what you're seeing. It's all good. <coughs> it's all good. I even got an ice cube tray right here. I found that in the cabinet. And I thought, hey, that'd make a good uh, thing for paint. So, uh, I think I'm going to add some something. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm no professional. So, uh, I am no professional. I think I'm going to add something, though. I got more paints right here that I bought. I went out like the next day or maybe the day after Christmas, I don't remember, and bought me another little pack of some paints uh, from Walmart. Uh, just gave me a few more options. Uh, all this, I just now opened it all. I haven't opened any of it. But uh, 
I know this is something you might not expect on the body beat down, but uh, as I explained earlier, um, we kind of touch on everything health related here, and it could very well be epilepsy. Uh, I mentioned uh, in one of my walks, my walk and talks that I did, maybe yesterday, I don't remember, or it might have been Friday, I don't remember, um, about uh, my depression. Uh, I've had depression for like 25 years, and over the past 11, 12 years or so, it's been, it, it's worse. So, you know, I, I like to talk about stuff that matters. Because it's all health related. <coughs> so let's add a little bit of yellow, guys. I'm scared, but I'm going to add some yellow. Of course, yellow and blue makes green, so. It's funny when you paint, you end up really just blending everything. <laughs> All the colors end up kind of going together and If you're still here and you got anybody, uh, you know, you think you might be interested in seeing this, uh, send them a link, you know. Uh, the more people we can get in here, the better. Now, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to over... I don't want to overstay my yellow's welcome, you know. I think that'll do it. I think that'll. I think that'll do it with the yellow right there. <clears throat> so technically, I should probably wait for this to dry. I wish I had a blow dryer in here. Phone call? Oh, no bad. It's all good. Yeah, depression does suck. It really does. Um, you know, some days are better than others. And I'm, I know you're probably on your phone right now. But uh, some days are better than others. Friday was real bad. Friday was real bad.
la da dee, la da da, la da dee, la da da. So, probably with the seahorse, you just want to get a basic shape of a seahorse and kind of go from there. Now, I don't really know, I'm just guessing. So, I'll be right back, guys. get this uh, paint to dry. Now, if you choose to do this, I have it set on warm. I didn't put it on hot or cool. Put it on warm. I think we about got it. You know, if you go and you start trying to do some kind of this is my thinking on it. If you go and start trying to do a detailed, more kind of uh, picture on top of a wet paint, it's just going to kind of, you know, all bleed together more. So we'll dry it up a little bit, see how it does. Why am I waiting until Sunday evening to do this? I don't know. Now, 
And once I'm done, once I'm pretty much done, I'll go around the, the edge of it. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that whenever you got this little ledge right here that it's sitting in. And then this right here is supposed to be kind of over it, holding it. But uh, I raised it up a little bit and got it kind of on top. What do you think? Think that's good enough, guys? Oh, yeah. We're good. I think we are pretty good there. <coughs> now, the tricky part comes in, and that's trying to draw a unicorn with paint with anything that's hard enough difficult enough if you will so I think what I will do I mean I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm confused <coughs> do I want do I want one big unicorn? Kind of like so. Oh, they go this way. They go kind of around and then they go kind of like, they go backwards from what you might think. So it's like head, head, almost like an S. Not quite so dramatic, like so. So, they almost have like a horse face, is what a lot of them kind of look like. So it's kind of kind of interesting. Um, let me get a different brush. Let me get a little different brush here, a little pointier brush. Just what we're gonna do is just kind of give us a, give us kind of an idea of what's going on. So I'm just going to use some blue that I used here. Just uh, kind of see what we got. We'll do like maybe a, start the nose here.
Okay. So, this is just kind of a basic uh, form, uh, just kind of trying to get it situated. Um, they kind of have stuff on their backs, it looks like, kind of spines or some kind of stuff, I don't know. They all look so different. It's kind of weird. You know, lots to, lots to look at here.
Now again, I'm no artist and this is your own creation. Whatever you do, however you want to do it, you could have made a whatever. It don't matter. I'm just kind of looking at some ideas and just kind of rolling with some of them. You know, hey, it is what it is, you know. We just kind of do stuff. You just got to kind of do stuff and figure things out. And you know? Air going on it again. There we go. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad, guys. I think that seems good. Let me know. Let me know. I don't know. What do y'all think?
and you don't have to go into any great detail. Things don't have to be, you know, lifelike. So don't let that discourage you, you know? I think about that a lot whenever I do any, you know, kind of art. It's like, you know, we can use our own judgment and our own imagination and kind of do things how we want because it's our art. You know, some people draw things super uber realistic and some people make them totally crazy and abstract to where you don't even know what they are. Everything in between. So, you know, don't be discouraged just because you can't draw something hyper realistic, you know? We're not all hyper realistic artists. So... You just kind of do the best you can and and kind of go with it. Go with the flow. Um, I think I'm going to add... I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see. Some more yellow. Again, if you're tuning in about this time, uh, the Body Beatdown channel is not just about fitness related type working out and foods and, you know, activity, you know, being active and that kind of stuff. It's also about mental health, physical health, spiritual well-being, and not like religion like you might think, but just the overall spirit. Just uh, an over uh, an overall well-being of the body, a wellness, and uh, we should all be concerned about that. And uh, you know, make sure we do what we can to kind of bring attention to these things sometimes. <laughs> I also noticed that with epilepsy, they also have a ribbon. 
like a purple ribbon or something. Totally happy with the fins. I may end up kind of doing away with them and redoing them. That's the good thing about painting, you can kind of redo stuff. kind of redo that.
All right. <clears throat> Just kind of a little redo here, guys. Sometimes you got to redo. I see what I'm doing. It's a trial and error thing, guys. And when you're unhappy with something, you start over.
you know, you're probably thinking that uh, that's a waste of time. But <clears throat> trial and error and, you know, uh, trying something and, you know, and then redoing it, you know, it's just part of the process. And basically, you, you just try to be thankful that you're using paint <laughs> because you can cover up paint really easily. And this is a really lightweight easel. It moves really easily. So, the one thing that we can at least do is start over. And uh, I would rather start over and waste an hour, not really waste, but, you know, use an hour and 15 minutes to kind of learn <clears throat> as to end up with something that I'm not totally happy with. So, uh, basically, uh, I got to learn, I got to look and figure out the exact shape that I want for my uh, seahorse get that placed on there and then uh, we'll go from there uh, as as for this video right now this is we'll say this is part one and uh, I'll let this dry and we'll pick up here maybe tomorrow or next week or in the weekend or something like that so I think I thank you for those that tuned in and uh, giving this a shot I know it's kind of not something you'd normally see on my channel, but again, that's what we do here. <coughs> this helps with mental health as well, you know. I suffer from depression, and uh, stuff like this helps. Even though you fail a little bit, you got to take some steps back, it's still, at the end of the day, good for you. So, anyway, guys, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beatdown. I try to do decent positive things every day, or whenever I post. I post most every day. And uh, try to get through this thing we call life. Alright? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. Now I've got to get all this cleaned up. Ah, uh, Man. Let's get her cleaned up, though. We'll see y'all later.